you're, you're a Muslim? I am. When did you become Muslim? When I was 17. What were the circumstances? I don't know, it was like believing in God and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not like, you know what I mean? I should preface this by saying it's not like I'm good at it. <laughs> when I was 17, I was living in Washington, and there was a pizza shop across from my house. And it was like all these Muslim dudes that worked in there. And I used to go in there and crack jokes. And I also I was a naturally curious guy, and I would ask him questions about his religion. It was, and the guy was so passionate about it, it was very compelling. I like the perspective of it, and I think these things informed my decision that I wanted to have a meaningful life, a spiritual life. I'm reading about you being Muslim, and they reference something that I was fascinated by, the well of Zamzam. There's a well called Zamzam, it's in yeah. Saudi Arabia. And the myth goes that a family walking through this desert dying of thirst, and this endless well presents itself. You and I could go see it. Right, so I could go see it. You yeah. probably have to make some phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> have, have, you, have you been there? I have. It's only welcome to Muslims. It's not a tourist location. No, nor should it be. The man is the prophet Abraham and his wife. The word Zamzam, that you guys speak Arabic, literally means stop, stop, because the, when it was commanded that this well would appear, the water gushed forth so much that the wife screams, stop, stop, because it, it was so overwhelming. And they say that it's an inexhaustible well. Mm -hmm. The thing that comforts me about it is the idea that all of this is from a singular source, that this source is ultimately kind, and even though we may not understand the intentions of this source, they were all connected and bounded by it. You know, like Islam, as it's been presented in the public space, is such a narrow and, and, and dismissive view of of a religious belief. It's a, it's a beautiful religion, like a beautiful religion. And the ideas in that religion are reflected in all the major Abrahamic faiths. You'll see these ideas in Christianity or Judaism, you know. But the idea is that this place does mean something. It's a place where you come to learn, where you come to know. You get here knowing nothing, you get a head full of shit, and then you, you go on. Mm. When the uh, current president says, uh, you know what, we're going to look into keeping Muslims out of this country. Well, how does that make you feel when that happens? You don't expect necessarily that much empathy or compassion or cultural astuteness from a guy like that. What you're sad about is that the chair doesn't have more humanity in it. But has that chair ever been that humane? When Biden called Trump the first racist president ever, well, clearly that's not true. So how do I feel when I hear a white person say some stupid shit? 